Got to another two faced reacts. Back at one another video. We got if she tells you these seven things, leave her. Let's get if into it. If she tells you these seven things, leave her immediately. If a woman ever tells you these seven things, guys, you're going to pack your bags and you call it a day. She's immediately disqualified from anything long term. Let's jump right into the video. Number one, he's just a friend. Guys, I fell for this in the past. I know a lot of guys have fell for this. The guy she tells you not to worry about. The work boyfriend, the guy. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Big ass red flag. Ain't nobody gonna tell me he's just a friend while you're dating me. Can't have both of us. Either you're gonna be messing with him or you're gonna be messing with me. Someone's catching something and it ain't gonna be me. So you, the moment I hear he's just a friend, I ain't fucking with you. I'm gonna keep that a buck with you. There's nothing, he, he doesn't want anything with me. You know, we just, we've been friends for years. Whenever something wrong with you, whenever there's something wrong with you guys, you and her, in the relationship, she's running to him. No man just wants to be a friend with your girl. Hey, that's so fucking true. The moment you have an argument, she ain't running to her friend, her guy friend for advice. She's there to get bent over. That is true. That is so likely true. She don't know how to talk shit out. They don't know how to work out. No problem. She's just an immature child. Can't stand that shit. That's the oldest trick in the book in which the devil keep using. So, yeah. You gotta know that dudes are savages. What your dude watching this? Probably. 99% of my, my, my followers are, are men. This is a men's self-improvement channel. You know how motherfucking dudes are, don't you? You know you get horny, don't you? What you think that, that boy best friend of hers want? The same way you want to hit it, he want to hit it too. He just going to lie. He just going to lie. He going to pretend. He going to act like, oh, no. She's she just a friend of mine. Man, these dudes be so full of cap. I had a live stream, you know, last year, and I tried to get the girl to call her best friend, and he was kind of stalling because he wanted to hit it. She was trying to get him to hang out. He's like, ah, I don't know. You're lying. Bro, they will take the chance. And if a girl isn't conscious enough to understand that, leave her. If a girl doesn't care enough to eliminate all the dangers in your relationship, leave her. Why do I have to explain to you that another dude will sleep with you if he had the chance? That doesn't make me insecure. I'm going to keep it real with you. That is the, the most true. Like, even if you had a wife or a girlfriend, there's going to always be a dude out there that's wondering what it's like to sleep with the person that you're with. If she initiates and keep, continue to talk with that person, you don't want to be around your wife and she's around him. Obviously, she's looking to mess around with that person. If she's more of a real woman that says no, keep her legs closed, stay loyal to a real man. Then she's a keeper. There are a lot less women out there like that. They may listen. They have a lot of hoes that may look professional. They may or they may act professional. They may know how to talk. They can even be your own manager. They that doesn't mean that they're loyal. That doesn't mean she know how to keep her legs closed. That doesn't mean that she's a good person to her man at home. Gets a job and then tells you, oh yeah, he just a friend. Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. If you are not my best friend, I ain't fucking with you. You don't need no other guy friend other than the dude that you're with i'm gonna keep it real that's stupid as a matter of fact that makes me more secure if a man is willing to call out bs if he's willing to protect his relationship by not allowing other men to to jump in and maybe ruin it he's very secure you are insecure if you let that shit happen you're an insecure man if you let another man possibly infiltrate your relationship by playing a friend role don't let this happen there are no men in your life except your father and your family members. Other men don't exist. Other men shouldn't have your phone number. Other men shouldn't be able to hit you up when you fucking with me. You could be single. Oh yeah, baby, you could do whatever the fuck you want to do. You can be single. That's my mindset, guys. You don't like the way I like things done. You can be alone. I'm not, I don't got you in handcuffs. You don't got to fuck with me. You don't got to be in a relationship with me. If you don't like my rules and regulations, you don't like how I want my relationship to be, you can go. I refuse to be with a girl while I'm over here worrying about what she doing. What I ain't doing all that. I'm just be single. I'm happy by myself. I don't need a relationship. I like being alone. I love what I do. I love coaching men. If you don't want to fuck with me, deuces. If you don't like how I like things done, deuces. I don't care. I know another girl will find me attractive. Number two, we need to take a break.
Guys, if a woman ever tells you when you take a break, this is You mean she need to take a break? So it's crazy how all this shit that female says is really for her to cheat on you. We need to take a break. You really got to be fucking kidding me. You really got to be shitting me right now. I heard this in so many movies and so many gameplays as well. But mainly in like a uh, like romance movie. Oh, we need to take a break. They don't sit around and be by themselves and think about the relationship and think about if she still want to be with that man. No, she just slapping. She just literally just getting piped down. She just over there messing around. That's really it. She want to get banged out by seven different dudes and then come back and say, oh, yeah, you want to start again? Nah, fuck you. You can leave. When a woman breaks up with you, she's dating so many other men. She's getting banged down by seven different men. She ain't loyal at all. Is an excuse for her to go bounce on another dude. You know what? I fell for this, guys. <laughs> I fell for this. Man, they, and the thing is about women, guys, women want to do absolutely what is best for them at every single moment. So she doesn't want to completely break up with you. She wants to keep you around just in case the guy she wants to go experiment with doesn't work out. That's how safe they like to play it. It's called monkey branching. It's crazy how women are more of a player than a guy. I'm going to be real with you. Think about what this nigga just said. She, he literally just said she don't want to completely get rid of him. That's like a fake friend mentality. They don't want to completely get rid of you. They want to bounce around with that person. Just in case that person don't work out, she have this person to fall back on. That's not love. That's not respectful. That's not being in a committed relationship. When people are in polygrams relationship, and I just recently figured that out. Basically, it is another way of being a whore. And a friend, like, what's that other thing? Uh, An open relationship relationship that's another form of being a whore it means you're not committed into no relationship it's stupid what's the point in doing all these low these weird ass whore activity if you don't want no relationship if you don't want to be tied down by nobody that doesn't make any sense you can be single and do all that shit i don't care but you're still gonna get karma regardless <laughs> for a reason right she holds on to one branch you and she's swinging for the other one the moment she grasps the other one, meaning that dude wants something with her, she's letting go of you. Happens to me. Happened to me, bro. Happened to me. My, my ex in college did this to me. The girl who broke up my heart did this to me. They are they, they know how to play that game. They will hold on to you just enough. Even, even if they'll start to slip fingers, they'll go from a full grasp. Ooh, the grasp goes a little light. That's when she starts pulling back. That's when she starts playing games. She's like, what the hell is going on? Then they go to four fingers. Oh, Lord, what's going on? She's starting to act really, really bad. She's being combative. She's arguing all the time. Like something is rough in the relationship. Four fingers, three fingers, two fingers. She'll hold on with the damn pinky. She'll hold on with the damn pinky until she knows that dude is ready. When she's holding on with the pinky, you know what she's doing? She's hot and cold. You guys are breaking up and making up. That's when she's holding on with the pinky. She's trying to make sure the other dude is grasping her securely before she comes and lets you go. And sometimes she might be trying to grasp onto him. He lets go. He doesn't really want a relationship. She'll start to come back to you. Love bombing your ass. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been acting weird. I love you. I miss you. I want to get back with you. You're like, what the hell? You just acting like you don't want to be with me no more. The other dude didn't want nothing with her. Don't fall for this shit, bro. Don't you dare fall for this shit. Guys, self-respect, self-love. We ain't having it no more, man. We tired of this shit, all right? If you don't want to be with me, you're not finna play, play this game where you hold on to me, grasp on to me, and then play games with me, lie to me, gaslight me like something is going on. Because that's what they'll do, right? They'll gaslight the f out of you. Oh, ain't nothing happening. My behavior isn't changing. Like, yes, it is. You're pulling back. You're acting hot and cold. Uh, everything is okay. You're just insecure. Meantime, she's trying to make sure the next dude, he, he got everything going on right before she leave you. We ain't taking no break. We breaking up. Number three, it's always your fault. Guys, if you ever dealing with a girl. Basically being a gaslighter, blaming you. Like, think about it. A woman can tell you how much of a man you are. Well, technically they can't. But at the same time, when they look at you and look at another man that's more established than you, to have more money than you, have a better car than you, have a better place than you, have a better job than you, career or whatever, she will make you feel less of a man and make you feel like it's your fault that you ain't got what the other guy got. 
I already know the answer to this question right here. And that's why it's very, 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 very important to really focus on yourself because you don't need to be around a female right now, especially when you're living by yourself. Like me, for example, I live by myself. I'm chilling. I just moved in my apartment. I'm chilling. I don't need no fucking female in my life. I know I don't need one. I'm working on building my YouTube channel, my reaction channel that I love to do. I don't need no female in my life. I don't need it. Like, See, the best way to really learn more about yourself as a man is when you spend time by yourself figuring how to do shit out, learn a new skill online, like continue to grow as a human and take care of yourself. You know, all that stuff, all that good stuff. It's just the fact that you don't need a woman to tie you down just to make you feel less of a man when you literally are doing the best that you can. Because your best is not going to be her best, you know? Make sure you got everything going for yourself before you get a female and make sure she's the right person for you. Because women, I swear to God, they are players. They know how to act. And plus, when you notice some red flags about her acting immature, acting stupid, acting like she don't want to just stay with just you. She ain't trying to get tied down. Kick the bitch out the door. You got to make sure you have that power to do that. I'm going to be real with you. That can never take responsibility, can never take accountability, run away. Something is up with the relationship. You notice her flirting with another guy or something. She, it always seems to be your fault she finds a way to make herself the victim you ever been talking to a girl or you had a girlfriend and you call her and doing some bullsh and by the end of it she made you feel bad you like hold up hold up i came here pissed off at you how the hell i'm at fault gaslighting you this is a woman that you need to break up with she will always find a way to blame you it will never be her fault and when she's with the next dude guess whose fault is it gonna be yours your woman needs to be able to take responsibility take accountability of the things that she does wrong hey we all fuck up i fuck up too you should be able to tell a girl hey baby that was my fault i screwed up on that and she should be able to do the same thing if your girl can't say you know what baby i shouldn't have made you feel any kind of way i shouldn't have made you feel any less of a man by acting like that that's my fault baby it won't happen again if she can't do that and if she always finds a way to blame it on you run away everything that will go wrong in that relationship will always be put back on you number four she starts accusing you of cheating anytime a woman starts accusing you of cheating guys it's because she out of random if let's say if you're at work you're doing your thing and a woman is low-key cheating on you sleeping with another man the moment you leave the house and then out of random she accuses you of cheating she's already she's already getting her black bone like blown out she's already cheating on you with another man she's already having sex with another man after she's done then she's going to accuse somebody else of cheating you can't accuse somebody else of cheating unless you catch them in the act of doing it and noticing red flags every single time and then you can call that person out but other than that you can't just randomly call somebody out out the blue unless you're the one that's doing it. There's a saying, those who accuse are the ones that's doing it. He's projecting. Anytime she wants to start checking your phone all of a sudden, it's because her guilt is, is eating her up. Don't fall for it. You're like, what is going on? Why are you curious to where I was now? You never used to act like this. Why you want to check my phone? Why are you starting to get super defensive? Beta males, you know what think? Oh man, my girl just loved me. You start to feel a little proud. Oh yeah, she checking up on me because she she afraid to lose me. No the hell she not. She checking up on you because she's cheating on you. And her guilt is eating her up. She wants to see that you're doing it too so she can feel better about doing it. That's all it is. Anytime a girl is accusing you of cheating, it's because she's doing it. Especially if you're not giving her any reason to. Now, if you over here liking girls' pictures on Instagram, doing all this nonsense, and then she's wondering if you're cheating, then okay. But you would you you tend to notice this when nothing is going wrong and she just starts all of a sudden acting brash and random and erratic. Anytime a woman starts acting erratic, guys, it's always another dude. <laughs> I can't say it no other way. Anytime you get erratic behavior, meaning it makes no sense why she's acting like this. Why is she all of a sudden hot and cold? Why does she all of a sudden want to check my phone? Why does she all of a sudden want to check have my password? Why does she all of a sudden want to know my location? It's another dude. Her guilt is eating her up. She can't live with the guilt, so she's coming and trying to project it on you. She wants to feel better about cheating, so she wants to catch you doing it. So it can lighten the, the guilt in her heart. If you notice that, start to pull away. It's over. It's over. She cheating on you. And you might as well, you can take that loss right now so you don't get shattered in the future, man. Number five, 
you're too sensitive. Anytime you try to check bad behavior, anytime you try to call her out on some BS, she try to flip it around and gaslight you and call you sensitive. She start calling you insecure. Anytime you hear those kind of words, those shaming words, anytime you hear shaming words, guys, no, 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 in your, in your hearts of hearts, it's time to go. Because now anything you do, she can just easily say sensitive or insecure, right? She, you had, you had dinner with her, she flirting with the waitress, you call her out, you're insecure, right? A guy come chat her up in front of you, you check her about it, because she ain't, she ain't tell him, no, you're sensitive, right? You see how she can make anything be your fault? It's a complete disregard of your personal feelings and your standards as a man. It's time to walk away. If you hear a girl call you sensitive, if you hear start hearing those words, insecure, sensitive, those shaming kind of words, it's time to go. It's kind of like the, it's always your fault. But now she's like labeling you. Anytime your girl starts to label you stuff, mm -mm -mm -mm. deuces. You're not sensitive because you have boundaries. You're not insecure because you don't want to be disrespected. And I kind of blame you guys for this shit, man. Y'all let's sit up here and let these girls gaslight the hell out of you, call you insecure for checking bad behavior. How the hell am I supposed to feel confident to protect and provide for you when you act shameful in my name? Your woman should do nothing to disrespect you, nothing to make you look weak. Your woman should act like you're the king of kings. This is literally how your woman should be. She should literally, in the, in the face of planet, on the planet, she should treat you like you're perfect. Why? Because in private, you guys can discuss. In private, you guys can communicate. In private, you guys can bicker. Not in front of the world. So if you start to notice behavior where you're like, damn, she's starting to label me these things because I'm calling, I'm calling out bad behavior. It's time for her to go. Deuces. Number six, she starts to point out and notice a lot more of your flaws. You're like, wait a minute. In the beginning of the relationship, I was handsome. In the beginning of the relationship, I, I, I couldn't do anything wrong. Now, let me say this before I get into this point, because I know you motherfuckers. Hey, remember when I said in the beginning, when she's find another man that has everything more going for himself, she's going to come back and then talk about how much of the shit you don't have, how much of shit that you lack. She's going to start pointing out your situation that you basically don't got as much as that other dude, putting you down, making you feel insecure, making you feel less of a man, worthless, basically trying to eat masculine in a way. Pointing out your flaws, that's female behavior. I swear to God, I found that in a fake friend too one time and I actually uh blocked his ass. Swear to God, bro, like people are fucking fake as fuck. They want to act like they like you when they don't. But when people point out your flaws about you, when a female do that, that means she already met and, and slept with that dude that has more than what you got. More established than you, more money, better car, like I told you. Like I told you in the beginning. She's interested in this other dude and she's coming back to the main guy that she's using, which is you technically right and then she gonna point out the shit that you ain't got and put you down make you feel less of a person when someone does this when someone doesn't respect you when a female don't respect you kick the bitch out if you want to be with the other dude go ahead shit i don't got no problem with that but not gonna disrespect me in my place and my hard work and the best shit that i can do for myself if my best is not your best get the fuck out of my face i'm gonna keep it real with you do not it does not mean you get to be fat and gain weight and become ugly with your woman and then try to say oh she's pouring out my flaws no 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 there's a give and take here you gotta you gotta be more attractive with your girl but if you know you you got your shit together you dressing well you smell good you you on point with your looks you doing everything you do to be a masculine man you ain't slacking you ain't getting complacent and she starts to point out stuff about you that you never noticed she did she starts to pick at little things about you i don't really like the way you do that you're like when was that ever a problem She's starting to get irritated by the little things. Every time a woman starts to get irritated by the little things, this is a sign that she's checked out mentally. You start to notice her point out your flaws a lot more frequently, she's checked out mentally. Guys, women check out mentally before they check out physically. A woman would check out of that relationship mentally a long time ago and just physically be there until she could pass, until she could fully monkey branch. This happens in marriages all the time. I mean, women would be in a damn marriage and, and hate the dude for five, 10 years. She just don't want to leave the kids. She's done. She doesn't have a, a better option, so she just stays there physically, but she's out mentally. I don't want to be with a woman that's that's not mentally into me. I don't want to be with a woman that's not 
mentally in the relationship and trying to fight for it. So if you notice her starting to poke at little things, bite at little things, be irritated by the smallest stuff about you before she used to love the way you slept. Nah, it annoys her. She used to think it was cute how you chewed on food. Nah, it annoys her. I'm not saying you chew on food like a rabbit. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. You still need to have proper manners, bro. Cause I know you motherfuckers will take every every word I say to the extreme. So I gotta make sure I make that clear. You have to have proper manners. Be masculine. Be clean. You know, keep your looks up. Do all. Do, do your part as a man to keep her interest high. If you're doing your part and she's not doing her part, she's starting to tear you down as a man instead of lift you up. It's time for her to go. She has mentally checked out. She used to be super supportive of your dreams. Now she telling you you can't make it. And your level of grind and ambition is the same. Or you've, been, you've even improved. You noticing that like she's not so much supportive no more. She's mentally checked out. Number seven. You work too much. Guys, I cannot tell. Oh my God, you work too much. That's an excuse for her to cheat on you. The moment you call her girl, let's say if you work 10 to 11 hours a day, four days a week, which technically that's how, that's how much hours I work. I work 10 hours and come back in the morning, nine o'clock, right? Let's say if I had a female, I'm going 10 hours. That's enough fucking time. That's more than enough time to sleep with someone behind my back while I'm out there actually working at a job. Just to come back, caught the bitch cheating, sleeping, getting piped down, all that shit. Just so the bitch can tell me, oh, you work too much. It's not my fault. Nah, bitch. If you, if you feel like I'm not giving you enough time, enough attention, I'm not attending to you like that. Let me know. So your ass can leave. That's it. You ain't got to cheat on nobody. You don't got to do that. You ain't got to hurt people. You don't have to do that. You stupid. And it's crazy. It's sad that when a, a female trying to point out things that you're doing to support you and her. I swear to God, females are players. I swear to God, they're more players than us. They know how to hide shit. I swear to God, bro. They know how to hurt your feelings. They know how to tear you down. They know how to play the game better. Us men, we have to be more smarter and be more alert and point out her red flags as quickly as possible. The moment you hear, oh, she's just a friend or you work too much. Oh, you're sensitive. Oh, you don't have what this other dude have. When she start comparing you to him, if she don't really respect you, support you kick the bitch out D dismiss that bitch fuck them do not get played and get disrespected fuck them tell you guys how this is such a big deal in a relationship most women guys cannot handle an ambitious man most women do not understand what it takes to be extremely successful this is why i tell you guys man you should not live with a girl a girl will will hinder your future i'm not gonna cap man these girls will fuck y'all shit up i'll be trying to tell you all bro so I tell you guys, man, to make sure you're well-rounded, you, you, you never neglect women, because if you pick the wrong one, it's a big mistake. On the road to success, on the journey to the top, you need to put in as much work as humanly possible if you want to be excellent in the world. I know the majority of y'all, y'all like to be average bums. I get that. I'm not speaking to y'all. I'm speaking to the 20 15 10% of men that watch the videos that are truly excellent that really want the best out of life that want to accomplish everything that's the guys i'm speaking to in this point in order for you to really become that man you have to give it everything you got bro it takes every ounce of energy and more 16 hour days literally especially once you find what you're good at and you can learn and market and do all that you gotta doubt go all in and if if she's not there saying baby you got this if she's not there to be supportive, it's not going to work. Because what will happen is she'll, she'll start to find that comfort elsewhere and then blame it on you when you really have big plans to go accomplish great stuff. Now, what I would say is... You and that's why women can never get and attract a high value man. You see, you see why they cannot pull a high value man now. And they talk about they want a high value man, but they're not, they're not willing to support a man's grind when they're at their lowest, when they're grinding to work towards their future, their goal. They want a man that already got it. That's well established, right? They want a man that already achieved it. So they don't have to be there to support them. They don't care about what you have. They don't care about how hard you're working. They just want what you have. If anything, Thing, a female don't matter if she's average looking or not she doesn't care about you i swear to god these stupid average ugly ass females at, at working at a fast food restaurant a regular warehouse job be talking the most shit half of them be flat chested ugly as fuck 
swear to God, and they want a high value man, but yet they don't support his worth ethic, his grind, him going through a lot of rainy days. A real, a real woman will support you through thick and thin. That's rare. A lot of these females out here now, they don't care about you. They don't care how hard you're working. They don't care you staying up day and night to get good at shit. They're going to be texting another dude. They don't care about that. They only care about what you can benefit them. They only care about what they can get out of you. That's the funny thing. And they talk about a high value, man. These females are fucking stupid, bro. They are liars, bro. I swear to God. I can't stand these fucking females, dude. And that's why I never dated nobody in my life yet. Because I'm always hearing all these females are cheating. I, I be hearing people wives be sleeping with other people at a job, being whores, bro. It really ain't worth it. It's not worth going through that shit. I'm sorry. Just to get embarrassed by the person that's supposed to be supporting you. A woman can be your biggest supporter or your biggest enemy. Because she holds your reputation when you're with her. When she's with you. Gotta be careful. But uh, guys, that's it for this reaction video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one.